Hello everybody, I am Mo That West, and this is Dead Rising 2 once again. I was out looking for Zombrex, stumbled into a guy with a pet tiger who's trying to kill me. And I really don't want to be dealing with that. Oof. Let's not do that, tiger. I'm gonna go ahead and run away from you. Because I definitely want a close-by save point. Well, a more recent save. And it did say there was restrooms close by on that sign. Okay, that's, uh... I'm gonna have to wade through zombies and tiger feces to get to that, but... I don't think I really have time to be doing with that. I gotta go give Katie her medicine! And then... I'm also gonna have to swing back there, take down Ted, and pick up some fresh meat. Because you actually can befriend that tiger if you kill the handler and feed her some actual meaty meat. But that ain't gonna be helping me very much if I take too long and Katie goes all zombie on me. So I'm gonna have to haul all of the ass right back into the royal flush and into the vents and go injecting my baby with some of that sweet drug. Don't worry, Katie. Daddy's a govern. I'm almost there and almost have some time to spare. Uh, yep. Few in-game minutes, which amounts to a few real-life seconds. Yeah, keep on making your scared people noises. Close the door nice and safe. Ooh, scissors. Fantastic. And orange juice. The cure-all for getting mauled by walking corpses. Now then, we just gotta wait. Only ten more in-game minutes. Almost there. There we go. Come and get some pointy bits in your arm. Well, time to get ejected. Alright. Stick out that little tiny arm and... There you go. I'm supposed to say that to you. Good for you. You keep having your fun, I'm gonna go murder zombies and get some more survivors. Next case will occur at 7 a.m., which it just happens to be. So, savey time. And more stuff happening. Setting to see a guy planting a bomb. Initial reports suggest that the man in the video is former motocross champion Chuck Green. What? Green, a member of the zombie rights protest group Cure, was a contestant in tonight's pay per view game show. Acquaintances describe Green as a known drifter who is still angry over his wife's death in the Vegas outbreak. This horrible act of terror appears to be an escalation of violence for the protest group. Bullshit. That was 
just not me. Did you have something to do with this? No, no way, not in your life. My daughter and I barely get out of that arena alive. Uh oh, why does the screen go black? Do something like that. Why are these Why is the computer, computer doing weird shit? Once. Okay, that's better. I lost my wife. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm being set up. I think I know why. It's not the first time members of Cure have been falsely accused of being involved with an outbreak. We were in town protesting that awful show you were on. Do you believe me? I don't know what to believe. You sure don't seem like a terrorist. What does a terrorist seem like? I know we weren't involved. Look. We have three days before the military rolls in. That's how much time I have to prove I'm innocent. The reporter, the one at the hotel. The tape she had, it's a complete fake. She said she had a source. Whoever that is must know more. I need to find out where she got it. She said she was in the hotel. I'll keep an eye on your daughter. I won't say anything to her. I don't want her to worry. Good. Can't have her worrying. Cause if you make her worry, I'm gonna slap you with a big old slice of baloney. So yeah, that's the tutorial on how the game progression works. And there's Sullivan waiting by the thing. Got stuff to talk about. Don't know if I can trust you, but you're gonna keep bringing people back. I got something that might help you out. Promise I won't get in your way. What is it? Supposed to be a key to all the maintenance rooms around Fortune City. Don't know. Might be something useful in them. Maintenance room key. Now I can start making my combo weapons. Hell yeah. And I already got half of one combo that I really want to play around with. But I still need gems to make the other half of it. As soon as I find those gems, I'm gonna be having fun. New message. Yeah. I get how it works. And, uh, okay, alive on location. That's where we. I don't want one man's trash. There we go. Alive on location is the main objective. And now, yep. They figured out how to open doors. We're fucked. And this is where it teaches you about going into the maintenance rooms to make combo weapons, even though it already gave us a big-ass tutorial on it. Bat. Nails. Workbench. You do the math. So... Yep, spike bat. I already know how to use that. Uh, and yeah. So, grab the bat. Slap it on there. Grab the nails. Stick them in there. Yep. A little bit of duct tape. And just a bunch of other shit you're doing there. Fucking breaking it down with a chainsaw. Spiky bat. And what? Uh, okay. Lost. Trigger happy lady in the platinum strip. Yeah, that's fine and dandy. Anyway, let me just uh, bash my way through the horde. Get your teeth out of my neck. There we go. We're fine. And we got plenty of time before a live on location. And all right, there we go. I got got some time before that main objective expires. There's my level up. I know how leveling works. Range attack increase. New skill. Yeah, Lashandra. Yeah, you, your husband. Now fucking follow me. I'll get you safe. And then we'll also go find your husband. And we'll just stop talking, start following. And I know that her husband is very close by. Yep, there he is. He didn't run very far. And he's happy to see him wife alive. Hurry and give your wife a hug. 
I'll make sure you don't get got. Now. Okay. She smacked me too. You can have your little lover's quarrel later when you're safe. So... Okay, talk. Now, let's get down to getting it to safety. Yes, dear. Let's go, Gordon and LaChandra. You might just get me yet another level up in a very short window of time. But we gotta get Jaws safe first. Anyway. Alright, path is clear enough. Let's go. Let's not waste any more time. Yeah, she took the time to kill that last zombie. Good for you. Let's fucking go. Ain't got time to be dragging our heels. We gotta get you to safety. And then I gotta go do other shit that doesn't involve carrying you two around. Let's make sure they're nice and close before I jump in. Very nice that the icon over their head shows that they can make it through the door with ya. Cuz. I remember a lot of times in the first game I'd go through the door, but they'd be still. They'd still be too far away to get in with me, and then I'd have to come back out. And I'd just be real pissed off about it, but that's a double escort bonus level up. What am I getting? Combo cards! Drill bucket! Nice. So, yeah. Nice. A thing I can do. Quick little save. And then we'll head back out there and see if we can't take down Tiger Man. Might be able to do that before going and doing a live on location. Like I said, I do got plenty of time before that runs out on me. Wonder if I can find steak. Yeah, this looks like a place I'd find steak in. Yeah, there's some barbecue ribs right there. Nice and ribby. I'm sure the tiger would love that, but first I gotta take down Ted. Also, I'm pretty sure this... Yep. Uh, yep, combo card. Blambo! Yeah, be nice if I could look at that without dropping my bat, but whatever. Got ourselves a combo card. Now, if I could just navigate this place. There it is, Yucatan Casino. Go in there, smack Ted upside the head with a spiky baseball bat. Maybe shoot him a few times. I'm pretty sure I still have that gun on me. And I got me a bottle of orange juice in case shit goes south. So, yeah. Also, I'm gonna... Would you get the fuck off of me? Yep, there's Ted shooting at me, but there is... I do want to save before I try and fight you. There is a bathroom over this way. There's a bullet in my spine, but I'm all fine. I don't need the spine anyway. Yeah, I just pop out the other side here, and the bathroom should be on the left. Oh, look, a servbot mask. I love those things. You can actually combine one of those with a lawnmower, and you just put the lawnmower engine on top of the mask, and you can just charge forward with it on your head. Blades are spinning. There's where I'll find the bathroom. Pop in over here. Oh, look. A nice little uh, thing that'll give me a combo card. But first, big nasty shit. Get all savey wavy. And then we'll go crack Ted in the head. There you go, big man. That feel good, don't it? I've already dropped you by like half your health. Boom, baby. This bat kicks ass. Didn't want to take any chances losing a lot of progress is all. I'm kind of paranoid.
and this is one of those ones that makes me feel real bad. There's some of them that are just funny when you kill the guy, but that is not one of them. Also, not gonna kill Snowflake. Like I said, find her some fresh, non-human meat, and you can actually save Snowflake, be friends with Snowflake, take Snowflake back to the safe house, which doesn't sound like a very good idea bringing a fucking tiger in there with all the survivors, but it's a thing you do when you get a shitload of pee pee out of it. And we're gonna go ahead and do that in the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching with me in the next one. Goodbye.